Okay. <laughs> From the Honesty Vegan fa Family. Uh, Hello, and welcome to Omni's Eat Vegan. Today we're doing a special episode. A couple of our uh, viewers have put comments asking for haul videos on where we get some of our stuff and what sort of stuff we buy. So here we um, made a trip recently to Maryland. We live in South Central Pennsylvania. And we made a trip to um, Montgomery County, Maryland, where they have both a Whole Foods and a Trader Joe's. On today's video, we're going to talk about everything we bought at Trader Joe's, which is a pretty decent place to go if you're looking for vegan food. Uh, we don't have a Trader Joe's near us. Uh, we had two options, well three options. We could have went down to the Baltimore area, we could have went to Mo Montgomery County, or we could have went north to State College, Pennsylvania. Um, but given that the Whole Foods was there in Montgomery County, and they weren't too far away from each other, we were making a trip down to D.C. anyway. That's why we chose to go to the one in Montgomery County. It was a smaller Trader Joe's. I don't know. Uh, we've been south, and we've been to a couple Trader Joe's down south that are much bigger. Yeah. But the one in Montgomery County is, is more of a small, almost like a neighborhood grocery store. Yeah. Um, so this is everything we bought, uh, with a couple of exceptions. We bought a little pack of, of fresh pomegranate seeds, which we ate in the car on the way home. Um, other than the pomegranate seeds, this is everything we bought with one other exception. Uh, we bought some uh, Trader Joe's pizza dough. You want to... uh, we bought some of the regular, we bought two of the regular, and then we bought three of the garlic and herb flavors. And we actually opened one of these up and uh, pretty much ate it right away. It was really good. Um, so we bought five of those. Now going down this next row, go ahead, uh, John, what, do you, what else did we get? We also got rice cauliflower. Um which we're going to use, well, we can use it in place of a lot of things, but uh, I can see us using it sort of like rice, just, yeah. just replacing rice with this, just to try and get a different flavor mm -hmm. uh, from like our veggie broth, or uh, we found some vegan chicken flavored broth based. Bouillon, yeah. Chicken flavored bouillon. It's very, uh, I think it's from Warrington Farms. Uh, it's not in this haul video, but we found it. I think that would make that taste very good. Um, we also got some Thai vegetable gyoza. Gyoza. Pardon uh, us if we don't say these things correctly. Yeah. We bought a lot of ethnic food because there's yeah. a lot of different vegetable and vegan ethnic food. Yeah. Uh, so we bought a lot of different types of that, and we'll we'll go through it as we go. Um, but we did that because we're going to try some of these in our taste test videos, and then try to recreate some of the recipes. So a lot yeah. of this stuff you'll be seeing in upcoming taste test videos. Yeah. Uh, along with that, um, something that I'm excited to try, uh, maybe not so much Jessica, is the Portobello Mushroom Fries. Uh, I think they're going to taste really interesting. I think that'll be... Probably. Uh, I mean, as long as you like mushroom flavor. I, I do. Um, it, I, I think they'll taste really good. Um, and then we also got meatless meatballs. And I'm sure they'll taste great. Yep. We've eaten a couple different kinds. and I'm just excited to try Trader Joe's. Um, Continuing in that fry theme. Yeah, in the fry theme. We've got garlic fries, um, which I believe we checked to make sure that they are vegan as well. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we, we like potato-based stuff just as anybody else in Central Pennsylvania does. Um, along the fries, uh, keeping going, we're probably going to do a taste test of fries. These are zucchini fries. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be a big fan of zucchini fries because I, as a child I was <laughs> forced to eat zucchini and scars still remain. Um, and finally, to complete our fry segment, yep. is the sweet potato fries. And I, I, don't, I think everybody's had, or at least had a chance to try sweet potato fries. If you like the sweet, salty thing, these are probably going to be for you. I, I'm not a big fan, so, but yep. I can't wait to try them. It'll be interesting. And then uh, going along, we got some Trader Joe's pizza sauce, which we're going to use to dip the um, bread bread in. I think we're going to cut that up into breadsticks, the pizza dough and breadsticks. Uh, we also got some roasted garlic marinara and some traditional Trader Joe's marinara sauce. Okay, do you want to go through these ones here? Sure. Because um, I don't know how to pronounce them. This is, I think this is vegetable Penang curry. Yeah. With jasmine rice, uh, this would be something for like an individual meal, mm -hmm. um, put over rice. I don't know. Oh, it has rice in it, so that's good. 
Uh, this is, <laughs> yeah, this is good luck, even I'm gonna have Vegan tikka masala. Yeah, vegan tikka masala. Um, Again, an individual meal we're gonna yeah, taste test. Uh, cumin rice, and hopefully that, I think that's gonna taste, hopefully it's gonna be a little spicy. I'm hoping for spice on that. Mm -hmm. um, a vegetable biryani? Biryani, yeah. With vegetable dumplings, I, this, you know, this definitely, this looks like meatballs and rice. Yeah. You're not gonna lie. Looks like meatballs and rice, little peppers, and a, and a couple, maybe some edamame, uh, some peas, maybe some carrots in there. It looks good. And then, um, uh, vegetable pec pecoris? Pecoris? Uh, again, just, they look like meatballs. Uh, I, I don't wanna make them into something they're not, but, you know, that's, that's probably the way. Unless they have a sauce included with them, that's probably the way I'm going to prepare them. I might put a little sauce with them. And vegetable, these are vegetable samosas. And I think I've had these um, when I've gone to different Indian restaurants. Indian restaurants or maybe even uh, buffets. Okay. Uh, they're very, uh, I, actually, I think I dipped them in like a soy sauce. That sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. So over here we've got a big bag of tortilla chips because we like tortilla chips. Um, we also have an empty bag of roasted corn. Uh, I saw this on another YouTuber's video. They said you really got to try the Trader Joe's roasted corn. We did. In fact, we used it in uh, one of the recipes from our cookbook, Good Stuff You Should Eat. Um, that uh, you'll so you'll see this in our Hop and John recipe. Yeah. Um, so that's why it's empty, but it was really good. It added a nice flavor to the Hop and John. If yeah. you don't not familiar with Hop and John, it's kind of like a beans and rice with veggies um, it's beans recipe. And rice and veggies. Um, so that that's why that's empty. We put that in that recipe, and it turned out really really good. Uh, we also have some chickenless chicken tenders, which you know we like chicken. Um, vegetable pad thai. Which I don't think I've ever had this, but it, it looks really good. Uh, some chickenless chicken strips, which is just you know we're gonna use that in, a, in dinner one night. Uh, some beefless ground beef, which I'm interested to try the Trader Joe's. We liked the other um, different brands of Beyond beefless beef. beefless yeah. ground 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 beef. So we're definitely gonna uh, try that in, in some, one, a dinner one night. Uh, we've got some vegetable spring rolls that we're going to try. Um, this I'm really interested to try in as well. It's a Trader Joe's organic baked tofu with teriyaki flavor. We've not tried anything like this yet. We've tried regular tofu, um, but nothing that's like a baked tofu with flavor. So I'm inter really interested to try that. And then um, an old favorite, some uh, chocolate and vanilla soy creamy uh, frozen desserts, which we really like in this family. So um, always looking for more desserts. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so that's everything we bought at Trader Joe's. Um, I think that's about everything. And it came to just under $80. So we got a lot of food. Um, a couple of these things you're going to see in upcoming taste test videos. Uh, other things we're just going to eat in our day-to-day -day lives as we try to incorporate more vegan food into our, our diet. So um, that's everything for our haul video. I hope you enjoyed this one. We have a couple of other haul videos. If you haven't seen those, take a look. Uh, this is our Trader Joe's. We're going to be doing one from Whole Foods and two uh, videos from Thrive Market that we've got recently. So um, all things you're, we're either going to be eating in our regular diet or you'll see on a taste test video coming up. So if, if you haven't seen those haul videos, we're doing them all throughout December. Uh, you can take a look and uh, you'll see them in upcoming taste test videos in 2017. So from the Omnizy Vegan family, thank you for watching and have a happy holidays. We'll see you soon. Bye.